Let's do one more time. That's it. One side I have made it. Now for the other side, um, just select it uh, from the half and uh, delete the half mesh. Bring it to the middle. Now go to modifier list and uh, apply a symmetry modifier. Click on flip and now we have the complete bird. Symmetry has just made the right side identical to the left side. Now our uh, base model is ready. It definitely looks like a bird, isn't it? Now the interesting part comes. Let's animate its wings. For that, let's apply a bend modifier onto the bird mesh. These are the different bend axes. This is the x-axis. Now go to gizmo and rotate it vertically. Something like this. This I am doing for x-axis. Now if I play with the angle of the bend, this happens. The bird is flapping its wings. Great. Just with the help of a bend modifier, I have animated the wings of the bird. No rigging, no scanning. Now let's animate it properly. For that, turn the auto key uh, on. First make the angle value 100 and uh, then move 5 frames forward. Here make the value uh, minus 100. Um, or something like uh, this. This is good. And uh, now at 10th frame, again uh, make it 100. So this is the animation till 10 frames. See the bird from this angle and distance. It will certainly look pretty good. Now go to Graph Editor, Curve Editor, and uh, here this is a cylinder, which is the bird, and in its modified object, we have bend. It shows the keys here. And since we have animated its angle, so select the angle. As soon as you select angle, this option becomes highlighted. This is parameter curve out of range types. Click on this and it shows some options here. This is constant, which is by default. Constant denotes the default animation we have done. This is cycle, this is loop. So select loop here and you can see that the animation is now in loop. And here you can see that the bird is now flapping its wings continuously. Um, although you can't see any keys in the timeline except the initial keys. Now if I increase the timeline to 200 frames, it will automatically animate till 200 frames too. Now let's make one copy of this bird and uh, right now these two uh, are flapping the wings like same. I want to give some variation. So I pick these three keys and just offset them to the left a little bit. Now you can see uh, the variation clearly. Let's make one more copy of the bird. And again give some variation. That's looking pretty good. 
that's looking pretty good now we have three different kind of uh, movements that's right now go to particle system and drag a pf source in the viewport rotate the emitter something like this and put it here too much particles here so go to particle view and make the emitter stop at uh, zero in birth there are 200 particles I don't want this much so reduce uh, it to 30 30 words in the sky and maybe some variation in the speed something like this this is shape so replace it with shape instance okay before doing uh, here anything first of all select all these birds and make a group of them uh, say group one and here in shape instance in particle geometry object choose uh, uh, group 1 and in display select geometry and now you can see only birds in the viewport but all these birds are randomly scattered so go to rotation here random 3d is selected so change it to uh, speed space now go to shape instance and check the group members option selecting the group members option will force all the grouped birds to look upward so go to rotation and make X angle to 90 degree you can see here all the birds have changed their angle now make Z angle to 90 degree too and by doing this we can get what we want all the birds are now facing towards this side but all the birds are overlapping uh, so let's make uh, some room here this is PF icon so let's scale it up something like this this makes a space for the birds you can also scale down the size of the birds okay now these birds are not animating first of all select these three birds and hide them now the question is why these birds are not flapping their wings these are moving but not flapping the wings why because in shape and stance we haven't checked this option animated shape and now the birds are flapping the wings too if you look these birds from a distance it will look great and hence you can uh, use them in your projects you can change the color of the birds too so guys I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial so let's meet in my next tutorial. This is Chandan Kumar from India. Bye-bye.